today we are going to see journeys and micro journeys and how to implement case life cycle steps in case designer in app studio so you need to click on case types you need to click on new to create a new case type for now we will be seeing how to add new steps so you can add a new step here we can add a new stages these are all the stages say for example a membership for roadside assistance could be the entire journey which contains three parts firstly we need to apply for a membership next request for roadside assistance whenever it is needed say there is a car breakdown third one is the renew membership so this is the entire journey but this entire journey is not possible to implement in a single cycle or in a single release say for example if we consider the release duration of about 60 to 90 days we cannot build the entire end to end life cycle in a single mlp release so we need to choose a micro journey for this purpose so requesting roadside assistance which contains requesting the assistance validating the request and the company has to provide the service and then it can be resolved these all can be combined and created as a case type and this can be called as one micro journey as you can see here there are something called personas and channels and data and interfaces so now we will be looking into these things as you can see here there are four building blocks of a micro journey they are case types personas channels and data so case types represent one end to end process personas are the actors involved for example the customer end customer and the person who is coming to repair the car channels is through what channel the personas interact with each other coming to data it is the actual data it could be address data or vehicle data or it could be about their renewal membership data or their plan details so consider a postal address verification micro journey in this journey the customer is the persona because he is a person he is an operator he is a user coming to the channel that is through which channel the user and the company is interacting that is a customer web portal data is the you want to verify the ma mailing address so that would be the data coming to interface it is the postal service database that is the interface so this will be the interface if you see a simple address change micro journey in that the the customer calls the customer care representative or the customer service agent and tells him to change his address in the database then the customer gives the address details and the agent changes in the web portal so the customer and the csr or the customer and the agent who is talking to the customer from the company side or the personas coming to channels agent web portal and customer web portal or any other portal or mobile app or the will come under the channels category so coming to the actual data that is being changed so in our case the data that is being changed is the address we are going to change the address so address will be the data part so as you can see here in each of the stages you can add the personas personas are the actors that are involved who are going to operate or who are going to interact in these steps in these stages coming to data these are the data objects which they interact upon for example address details coming to channels it is like through which channel through web channel or email channel or chat channel which channel or through mobile channel they want to interact so in this video you understood about personas and channels data and interfaces in the case designer landing page in app studio same thing you can even get in the dev studio so even in dev studio you can go to the case types you can click on any case type 
to open the cache type rule. This is called as cache type rule. This is the PY default cache type rule. This is a cache designer landing page. So if you want to open this actual rule, then you can go to the app. You can go to the respective class. Say for example, this is candidate cache type in the candidate class. You can go to data model. Sorry, you need to go to process category cache type PY default. This PY default is the cache type rule. So whatever changes you make in the case designer landing page, either in Dev Studio or in Op Studio, they get saved in this case rule. For example, if I change here something or delete and save, then that will be get reflected in this cache type rule. This doesn't have any locking mechanism or versioning because it is a landing page. It facilitates us to make changes. So this is the underlying rule wherein those changes will be saved. So you can see there are three stages here. Yes, there are three stages. These are the alternative stages. Candidate rejection and offer rejection are the alternate stages. So, for example, on screening stage, if you set any validation, then there will be equivalent when rule created here. Thank you.